All right, what is going on guys? So today's video, I'm going to be making a wooden jerk bait. A lot of people requested this, so I thought I'd do it. I'm not a very good bait maker. I've got no power tools apart from a drill, a very cheap drill. Um, but yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to get a jerk bait put together. So yeah, I'll film the whole process and hopefully it makes a good video. Now I've not actually got any wood. I thought I did. Um, <laughs> but I don't, so there's this bit, it's not really doing much, but it's sort of like on my table, so I'm going to cut a chunk out of this and use that wood. So, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I think it's pine, but not 100% sure. So I've got my chunk of wood, we're going to make a bait out of that, so it's literally a scrap piece of wood. So, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, these are all available if anyone wants to buy one. Link in the description to the web shop store. But, yeah, so, just going to do a basic jerk bait design out of this. Not the best wood, obviously, but. Basic shape. So yeah, I'm going to cut that out. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. This is the only saw I've got, by the way, so this is going to have to do for it. Uneven in some areas, this a few knocks out of it now, so might have to fill them in. But it's starting to take shape a little bit now, you can tell what it's supposed to be. Very, <laughs> it's a very big bait though. No, it's not that big, about six inches, 15 centimeters, so yeah, decent size uh, clad bait but very thin, so it probably won't glide on its own. But yeah, my hand's kind of sore from sanding now, so I'm gonna stick, uh, <coughs> stick some holes for the eyes on it. All right, so eye holes are in. Looks it's starting to take a bit of shape. Now I just need to smooth it out, round the edges, put some holes for the weights, the eyelets and then it's basically ready just weight it seal it and then yeah pretty basic uh build just try and get it as smooth as i can there's still gonna be a few dints in it and stuff like that but it's not much i can do about that with this piece of scrap wood <laughs> So I think that's kind of the basic shape I'm going to go for anyway. It's even got a little mouth already, that's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty basic, it's very thin, um, pretty rough in some areas and that, but I'm quite happy with that shape. Sort of 15 minutes of sanding. So yeah, not too bad. I'm going to um, see where I want the screw eyes and then I'm going to seal the bait with super glue. I've already got a super glued finger, so yeah, not a problem. There we go, sealed with super glue. My eyes are absolutely burning now from that. Definitely will wear goggles next time. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, glue the screw eyes in now while we've got super glue out still. And then I'll wait it. Alright, guys, I just finished waiting it. I didn't actually film it, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Um, well, yeah, 50 grams of lead it needs to get it to slow sink, which is what I want with the two hooks. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's not going to fit in them too well, so I need to drill two more holes and, yeah, get the weight stuck in them. Hopefully, it'll all fit.
Right, a couple of coats of undercoat, um, and yeah, looking rough as hell. <laughs> Definitely should have um, spent a bit more time knitting it up and that, but like I said, this isn't meant to be like a proper good bait that I'm going to sell. This is just for me, I'm seeing if I can make a wooden jerk bait. So yeah, it's my first wooden lure, and uh, I'm going to paint it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to paint. I think I might. I do something kind of similar to this, uh, Stolen Bleak, but obviously I've got limited paint colours and this is like layered through different layers of epoxy, I think. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to get something perfect, but we're going to kind of like get influenced by this anyway. So, right. Change airbrush. Um, yeah, do a scale pattern, I think, first. Just needs epoxy now. Well, I've got epoxy, but it's not good at all. It's this stuff, like, absolutely the worst epoxy I've ever used. But I've ordered some more and it's not arrived yet, so I'm gonna have to use that today. <coughs> it takes like 24 hours to dry, so that's a bit crap. But we'll get it finished today and we'll be able to fish with it another day. So yeah, gonna do an epoxy clear coat and then we'll go fishing with it. Right, finally time to get a fish caught on this jerk. Been sitting on this for a good few weeks now. Uh, what clarity is not that bad. I thought I was going to be dirty in this. Hopefully, I'll find some feeding pike. That action is pretty nice. It's not a very tight glide, but it glides. Quite like that. <laughs> Seems to find a fish to eat it now. First time I've been here in a few months as well. So I'm not too sure what it's going to be like, but yeah, we'll give it a go for half an hour, and if I don't get a bite or anything, we'll try somewhere else. as well. That bright sun's not going to make it easy this morning. Probably change spots. I think I just heard a fish jump on my actually. Can't see it though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change spots in about 10. Not feeling too confident here. 
try somewhere that's got a bit more cover for the fish out of the sun and then it'll be easier to fish along those lines rather than open water like after here One behind it. One behind it. He nibbled it. Yes! Yes! That was cool to watch. Oh, yes, dude. <laughs> he folded it right from out there. I got my camera at right angle. He's fighting. Oh. It's only small, but that was so cool to see. Hooked a bit weird. <sighs> That was cool as hell, dude. Oops, kind of pinned his gills shut. But, in the words of Marlin Bates, it's official. Pipe like the junk, wood, crappy wood, jerk bait. It cost me about 50 pence to make. There we go. Scabby as hell, he's spawned out. Well, he's not spawned out because he's male, but as you can see, they have spawned now. So, yeah, fresh spawning wounds. Let him get back and recover. See you, buddy. Okay, that was pretty quick actually on this spot. And that was cool to see. I'm going to stay a little bit longer so we can catch some more, to be fair, with how aggressive that fish was then. That was awesome. Proper came up stalking it. Um, nipped it, missed, and I just twitched it again, paused it, and it just came and whacked it. It was so cool. Really aggressive. <laughs>